Hello fellow preppers, if you've been to the grocery store lately, you know the situation is getting dire. The shelves are thinning, prices are rising, and the word on the street is that meat shortages are looming. But don't fret, because we're here to help you navigate this crisis. In this video, we're going to guide you through building a budget-friendly meat stockpile. So, make sure you're subscribed to our channel, and let's dive right in. Stick with us, because in this video, we're tackling a critical issue. Meat shortages looming. Have you noticed the pinch at the grocery store? If you've purchased chicken breasts or bacon lately, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Meat prices are skyrocketing, and it's not just a temporary blip. We're staring down the barrel of a full-blown meat crisis with prices on track to double this year. But that's not the worst of it. As costs rise, availability is taking a nosedive. Meat shortages are looming, making it even more challenging for everyday shoppers to find affordable options for their prepper pantries. Just picture it. Shelves once overflowing with juicy steaks and plump poultry, now barren or filled with outrageously priced cuts. And it's not just a problem for meat lovers, it's a serious concern for anyone relying on meat as a primary protein source. The meat crisis is real, it's here, and it's time to prepare. Meat shortages are looming, making it even more challenging for everyday shoppers to find affordable options for their prepper pantries. Now let's delve into the factors contributing to this meat crisis. It's like a perfect storm brewing on the horizon, with several key factors colliding at the same time. First up, we have the weather. It's been a tough year. Bad weather has led to poor harvests for feed crops, raising the cost of production. When the feed gets expensive, it becomes costlier to raise animals, and these costs ultimately trickle down to us, the consumers. Then, we have the rising cost of diesel. Diesel prices are soaring, and this impacts everything from equipment usage on farms to transportation and shipping costs. It's a domino effect. When it costs more to get the product to market, those costs are passed on to us. Let's not forget the impact of climate change. Droughts and hot weather have devastated natural pastures, forcing farmers to purchase all their animal feed. This is a significant burden on farmers who are already struggling with other rising costs. And then, there's the government. Taxes on meat producers have been ramped up in recent years. While the intention might be to encourage more sustainable practices, the immediate consequence is that it leads to higher prices for consumers. These factors combined have created a challenging environment for farmers and meat producers. Some can't keep up with the increasing costs and are forced to close their doors. This reduces the supply of meat leading to shortages and even higher prices. But there's one more thing. It's as if the elites are playing a different game. There are whispers of synthetic meats, lab-grown proteins, and a push towards less meat consumption. While these could be viable solutions in the future right now, they're contributing to the uncertainty and volatility in the meat market. So the weather, rising costs, government taxes, and shifting food trends are all playing a part in this meat crisis. It's a complex situation with no easy solutions. But as always, knowledge is power. Understanding these factors helps us prepare and adapt. It's as if the elites have another plan in store for all of us here. All meat products are at risk. Beef, chicken, pork, you name it. It's a ripple effect, folks. When feed crops suffer, so does the livestock that depends on them. And when livestock suffers, so does our food supply. Now, imagine walking into your local grocery store and finding the meat section almost bare. Sounds like a scene from a dystopian movie, right? Well, if the current trajectory continues, that could soon be our reality. From the humble chicken to the mighty beef, every meat product could become a luxury item. And it's not just the price hikes, it's also about availability. The looming meat shortages could mean less variety and fewer choices for consumers. But fear not, fellow preppers. We've got a plan to help you build a budget-friendly meat stockpile that will see you through these challenging times. Stay tuned, because we're about to dive into some budget-friendly strategies to keep your pantry stocked and your belly full. Now let's talk strategy. In these challenging times, we need to think smart about our meat purchases. It's not just about buying what's available, it's about being strategic and stretching your dollar as far as it can go. First off, keep an eye out for sales, discounts, and bulk deals. Retailers often mark down prices on meat nearing its sell-by date. Grab these deals when you can and immediately freeze or preserve the meat to extend its shelf life. Next, consider alternative cuts of meat. We all love our ribeyes and chicken breasts, but cuts like chuck roast, pork shoulder, and chicken thighs often offer more bang for your buck. They might require a bit more cooking time, but the flavor payoff is well worth it. Also, don't shy away from organ meats. They might not be everyone's cup of tea, 
but organ meats like liver, heart, and kidneys are packed with nutrients and are usually cheaper than muscle meats. Now, if you're used to shopping at big-name supermarkets, it might be time to explore other options. Local butcher shops, farmers markets, and even direct-from-farm sales can sometimes offer better deals. Plus, you're supporting local businesses, which is always a win. And let's not forget about alternative protein sources. While meat is a great source of protein, there are other, often cheaper, options out there. Eggs, dairy, legumes, and certain grains can all contribute to your protein intake. Lastly, consider investing in a deep freezer if you don't already have one. Buying meat in bulk is usually cheaper, but you'll need somewhere to store it all. A deep freezer can be a game-changer for your meat stockpiling strategy. Remember, it's about making the most of what you have and planning for the long term. It might require a bit of an initial investment, but the savings you'll see over time will be well worth it. We're in this together and we're all about making prepping accessible to everyone. To build a well-rounded meat stockpile, you need to consider nutritional value, storage options, and versatility. In the face of a looming meat shortage, it's not just about having a stockpile, it's about having the right kind of stockpile that can sustain you nutritionally over an extended period. Firstly, let's talk about nutritional value. Different types of meat provide different nutritional benefits. Beef is rich in iron, pork is packed with thiamine, and chicken is a low-fat source of protein. Variety is key to ensuring a balanced diet. Next, consider your storage options. Some meats, like canned tuna or chicken, have long shelf lives and require little to no preparation. Other meats, such as beef or pork, may need to be frozen or preserved through methods like canning or smoking. It's essential to have a mix of both for versatility and convenience. Speaking of versatility, the types of meat you choose should be able to fit into a variety of meals. Ground meats like beef, turkey, or chicken are incredibly versatile and can be used in everything from spaghetti sauce to taco filling. Having a variety of cuts and types of meat will keep your meals interesting and prevent food fatigue. And lastly, don't overlook non-traditional sources of protein. Insects, for instance, are a sustainable and nutrient-rich source of protein. They require far less space and resources to raise than traditional livestock, making them an excellent addition to any meat stockpile. We'll guide you on the types of meat that should be at the top of your list, ensuring you have a balanced and nutritious supply to rely on when times get tough. Preserving meat at home is a crucial skill for preppers. As we navigate uncertain times, having an array of preservation techniques up your sleeve can be a game-changer. Let's start with smoking, a time-honored method that not only preserves meat but also imparts a distinct flavor. Drying, on the other hand, involves removing all moisture, making the meat lightweight and long-lasting. Now, canning might seem intimidating but it's one of the most effective ways to store meat, as it seals in the freshness and nutrients. Similarly, freeze-drying and freezing are excellent for retaining the meat's original texture and taste. If you're a fan of traditional methods, salt curing could be your go-to. It draws out moisture and inhibits the growth of bacteria. Lastly, dehydrating is a versatile method that works for almost any type of meat. Remember, each method has its own unique benefits and flavor profiles. It's time to take control of your food supply. Arm yourself with knowledge, make smart choices, and together, we'll weather the storm. We've navigated the meat crisis, understood its causes, identified the risks, strategized budget-friendly solutions, and learned to build a versatile meat stockpile. Plus, we've mastered the art of DIY meat preservation. Remember, prepping is about foresight and adaptability. So hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our prepping insights. With that said, I'll catch you on the next one. Stay prepared, stay safe.